Hi everyone, I'm Jules Acree from Ohm and the City and today I am so excited to be leading you through a power yoga flow. I decided to take my mat outside. I've been trying to do more movement outdoors just to get some fresh air. Um, so wherever you are, roll out your mat. You won't need any props and there are no rules except to move with your breath, listen to your body and have fun with it. All right, let's do it. Make your way into a comfortable seated position on your mat. Empty out whatever existing ear you currently have. And then place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Let's all take a collective inhale in through the nose, filling up the body. And exhale through the mouth, let it all go. Again, inhale through the nose, filling up and exhale through the mouth, let it all go. Last one together, inhale through the nose, but this time seal the lips closed and exhale through the nose, let the breath graze the back of the throat. Coming into your ujjayi breath, your strong victorious breath that we all need right here, right now. And whenever you find yourself struggling with a posture or even struggling in life, you can always come back to your breath and just let your breath guide you through the rest of your practice today. When you're ready, make your way onto your hands and knees for tabletop and just check to make sure that your shoulders are in line with your wrist, hips are over your knees, toes are untucked. Inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart forward, point the tailbone up. Exhale, round through the spine, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, cat the back, feel your shoulder blades expand. Last time, inhale, drop the belly, feel your abdominal stretch. And exhale, cat the back. Find your way back into a neutral position and we're just gonna warm up the joints. So start to make circles with your hips and just start to move intuitively, whatever feels most natural for you. Listen to your body and just give it what it needs. If you're making circles, make sure to switch sides and move in the opposite direction. Make your way back into tabletop and find some stillness here. We're going to release the tension in our neck and shoulders. So inhale, lift the right arm out. Exhale, thread it under the left, dropping your ear and your cheek to the mat. Left arm extends out in front of you and your gaze is up towards your left. Take a couple rounds of breath on your own. But with every inhale, ask yourself, what can you invite in? And with every exhale, what can you let go of? Where can you release tension? Gently prop yourself back up into tabletop and we're gonna switch sides. Take your left arm, reach it out, thread it under the right, dropping your left ear to the mat, extending your right arm out in front of you, gaze is up to your right. Connecting back to your breath, sinking into these sweet moments of stillness. Come back onto your hands and knees. We're gonna do a myofascial release. So sit back onto your heels with your toes tucked under. If this feels too intense for you, you can always untuck the toes. But if you're up for the challenge, tuck those toes under. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take your right arm under your left, palms come to touch for eagle. Inhale, take a baby back bend, doing your best to relax your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, bring your elbows to your belly button, round through the spine, shoulder blades expand. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, throw the left under the right, switching sides. Inhale, baby back bend. Exhale, round and through the spine. 
Good. Release the arms. Maybe shake out the wrists. Let's get into our first downward facing dog. So plant the hands, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back, and just start to pedal out the feet. Don't worry about how the shape looks. I want you to focus more on how your body feels and just take a mental scan of what's feeling tight today. Every day is a little bit different. Meet yourself where you are at and just take this in as information, not judgment. Find stillness in your downward dog and we're gonna soften the knees, walk or hop the feet to the front of the mat, forward fold. Take a generous bend in the knees, interlace your hands behind your back and reach your knuckles up to the sky. Feel your feet plant firmly into your mat as your chest presses into your thighs. Let your arms fall over your head as gravity does its thing and feel your shoulders and your neck release. What can you let go of? Can you relax your jaw? Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let it all go. Press your feet firmly into the mat, soften your knees as you rise up to stand. Head is the last thing to come up. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart. Inhale, swan dive over, hinging at the hips. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into high plank. Hold for the breath in. Exhale, lower down all the way. Elbows are squeezing in towards your sides. Toes are untucked. Inhale, baby cobra, lifting the chest, pressing your pelvic bone into the mat. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes under. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, foot is flexed, and keep your hips parallel to the front of your mat. Exhale, bring your foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop the back knee and tuck the toes. Inhale, puff up the chest and grow taller in the crown. Exhale, straighten through the front leg for a hamstring stretch. <laughs> that is quite the tongue twister. All right, bend back into the front leg. Heart shines forward. And exhale, straighten the leg to fold. One last time on this side. Inhale. Really getting into the hips. And exhale, really getting into the hamstrings. Inhale, bend back into the front leg, tuck the toes, lift the knee, left hand plants down, right arm sweeps up. Twist like you are wringing out a towel. One more breath in. On an exhale, lower the right hand down onto the mat. Spring off your back foot into Malasana squat. Tailbone roots down and you grow taller through the crown of the head. Toes are at 10 and two, and you're using your triceps as leverage to press open your thighs. Find one more cycle of breath on your own. When you are ready, plant your hands down, heel toe your feet together, root down through your feet as you rise up to stand. Sweeping the arms up, overhead, hands come to heart. Breathe in, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank. Lower down, halfway chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Good, you guys. All right, let's take it on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts, foot is flexed, hips are straight. Exhale, send your foot to the outside of the left hand, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, heart shines forward. Exhale, straighten the front leg, foot is flexed. Inhale, chest shines forward, crown is lifted. Exhale, straighten the leg, fold. One last time, inhale. And last one, exhale. Bend back into the front leg, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, right hand plants down, left arm sweeps up. With every inhale, can you lengthen? With every exhale, can you twist a little deeper? 
On an exhale, hand comes back down, spring off the back foot into Malasana squat. You've been here before, you know just what you need to do. So root down through the tailbone and grow taller and rise through the crown of the head. Connect back to your breath and be proud of yourself for showing up to your mat today. The warm up is about done. So we're about to kick it into high gear. Hope you're ready for it. Plant your hands, heel toe the feet together, root down to rise up. Hands come to heart. Swan dive over, exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hop back right in chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up nice and strong. Exhale, send it through between your hands, making sure that your knee is in line with your ankle. High crescent lunge, arms sweep up, pinky spin in. Back leg is strong, it's active. Come back to your breath. Open up nice and wide into your warrior two. Take up space. Reach your arms in opposite direction and feel that powerful expansion as you externally rotate your right thigh to open up the hips. Reach forward, reverse. Peel your right hip joint off of your right thigh, feeling your right side body expand. Exhale, right elbow comes to right thigh, left arm sweeps up. One nice, beautiful, strong, sturdy line on your left side body, not collapsing in your shoulders, staying strong. Exhale, lower down into a runner's lunge. We're gonna do a quick little booty and thigh burn. So spring up your back foot, take your back knee, intersect your right calf, hold it, send it back. Hold it, send it back. Hold it, send it back. Two more times, hold it, send it back. Squeeze it in, send it back. Drop the back knee, straighten the leg, hamstring stretch. Make your way back into a high plank and then go ahead and flow on your own. However you choose to get there, I'll meet you back in downward facing dog. Who's ready for the other side? Inhale, left leg reaches nice and strong. Exhale, send it through, high crescent lunge. Use your core to rise up. Press down firmly into your front toes. Heel is energetically reaching to the back of the room. Inhale, exhale, open up warrior two. Check that your knee is in line with your ankle and press down firmly with the pinky toe of your back foot. Inhale, reach, exhale, reverse. Hold for the breath in and exhale, lower your elbow onto your thigh, extended side angle. And maybe just notice how this side feels a little bit different than the other side. Lower the hands down and we're gonna do that quick little thigh booty burn on this side. So spring off the back foot, knee comes to calf, send it back. Squeeze it in, send it back. Squeeze it, send it back, two more. Squeeze it, send it back, squeeze, send it back, drop the knee, extend the front leg. You're done. All right, now I think it's time for a little break. So if you're feeling it too, make your way back into a high plank, move through your flow, however you choose to get to child's pose, that is where I'll meet you. You can even skip the chaturangas, skip all the down dogs, drop to your knees, sit back on your hips, and just sink into your mat. Come back into your strong, victorious breathing, your ujjayi breath. And when you're ready, make your way back onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Soften the knees, hop forward, chair pose. Sink the hips low, reach the arms high. Anchor down through your heels, lift all 10 toes off the ground. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up, bringing your hands to your heart. Exhale, swan dive over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, send it back, move through your flow, however you choose to get to downward dog, honor your body, meet yourself where you are at. 
All right, you ready for my favorite part of the sequence? Let's do it. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, send it through, high crescent lunge. Inhale, arms come up nice and strong. Exhale, right arm threads under the left eagle. Hold for the breath in. And exhale, spring off your back foot into warrior three. This takes a lot of focus, so ground down through your standing leg, flex through the back foot, hips are straight, and really focus on a point in front of you. Keeping your eagle arms and your left leg lifted, reach your left leg and wrap it around your right into full eagle expression. Hook that left toe around your right calf if it's available to you. Hold. If you're feeling fancy, bend your knees. Hinge forward, bringing your elbows onto your left thigh. Now unravel the legs back into your warrior three and lower the leg down finally into your crescent lunge right back where you started. Woo, I hope you're feeling that burn in the right thigh. We're gonna stretch it out. So go ahead and rotate yourself to the left side of your room. Take a wide leg forward bend. I'm so sorry that this is the angle you all Get to see, I didn't think this through. All right, whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Take your left hand, reach for your right ankle, and take your right arm, reach it up to the sky. We like our twists, because a lot of us are hunched over at desks all day long, so this is really good for the shoulders. Switching sides, take your right hand, reach for your left ankle, left arm reaches up. This posture is gonna look different on everybody, so really tune in to what feels good to you. Okay, come back into your forward fold. Anything else you need to do? I like to move through Skandasana, bending my legs from left to right, really getting into the hips and the hamstrings. So this is your practice. Customize it, tailor it, make it your own. When you're ready, make your way into a high plank. Move through your flow, lower down halfway, chaturanga, inhale your up dogs, exhale downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. We have one more side to do before we wind it down, so make it count. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, send it through, high crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, take your left arm under your right for eagle. Cultivate that strong, victorious warrior power. Press down through your standing leg. Spring off your back foot as you move into your warrior three. It's okay if you lose your balance, just get right back into it. Energetically flex through that back foot as if you could stamp it on a wall behind you. When you're ready, squeeze. And with control, take your right leg and wrap it around your left for eagle. Stay strong through that standing leg. And then imagine there's a string attached to the crown of your head and it's being pulled to help you grow taller. If you got fancy on the other side, let's make it even. So bring your elbows onto your thighs and then steady with control, take your right leg, unravel it and send it back into your warrior three. Flex through the foot, engage your glute and then silently drop your back foot onto the mat. High crescent lunge, awesome job you guys. All right, connect back to your breath. Let's all take an inhale together. And exhale, hands come back down. Let's take a wide leg forward bend. This is a much better angle, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so go ahead, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, bringing your left arm to your right ankle. Right arm reaches up. Twist, 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 like you are wringing out a dish towel. Release and switch sides. Right hand grabs your left ankle. Left arm reaches straight up. Make your way back to center. And again, do whatever your body is calling for. Honor that. I'm gonna take Skandasana because I can't get enough of the hips and the hamstrings. It definitely feels good, especially if you spend extended amounts of time sitting at your desk. Make your way to the front of your mat and go ahead and take your final vinyasa flow of the practice. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Empty out your air and let's all take a collective inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Good, soften the knees, hop forward, 
chair pose. It's the last one, I promise. Lean forward, come up onto the balls of your feet, swing the arms back for diver's pose. And slowly and steadily lower down onto your seat. Slowly lower down all the way, engaging your core. Keep your knees bent, feet are planted firmly into your mat. We're gonna do bridge pose, so go ahead and have your arms down by your side, fingertips are touching your heels for some distance there. Press your feet down into the mat as you lift your hips up. And you can keep your arms extended as they are, or you can interlace your hands, sealing the heels of your hands together, walking the shoulders in, and just being mindful not to crunch in the neck. Close your eyes and take another cycle of breath here on your own. Gently lower down and rock your knees from side to side like windshield wipers. Pick up your right leg and cross it over your left thigh, making a figure four shape and interlace your hands behind your left thigh. This is your reclined pigeon. When we allow ourselves to truly slow down without the distraction of outside technology, there's so much beauty to be found. It really puts things into perspective as far as what's important, what truly makes you happy. It can really be quite simple at the end of the day if we let it. Let's switch sides. Left foot crosses over your right, figure four, and release your hands behind your right thigh. Recline pigeon pose. We live in a society that praises productivity, achievement, and the busier you are, the more important you seem. But in order to truly be happy, we need to give ourselves space to just be with our breath and with our own thoughts. Release your feet onto your mat, shift your hips over to the left and let your knees fall over to the right for a spinal twist. Let's switch sides, scoot your hips over to the right, let your knees fall over to the left, head is turned to your right, eyes are closed. Make your way back into a neutral spine and go ahead and take the next several cycles of breath to do any final pose your body needs. From happy baby to headstands and shoulder stands, move in whatever way your body is calling you to move. Wherever you are, start to make your way back onto your mat. We're gonna take one final full body stretch and Shavasana. We will be here in stillness for about one minute, so I encourage you to stick with us till the end. Start to bring awareness back into the body. Wiggle the toes, the fingers, the nose, and just wake up the body. 
And when you're ready, you can slowly roll over to your right side and gently prop yourself up into a comfortable seated position, keeping your eyes closed. Thank you all so much for joining me on your mat today. I hope you're able to take what you've learned off your mat and into the world. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Jules and you can find me over at Ohm and the City. Namaste.